Hello, I am live. I am at Panera because um, my son has to be picked up in a little bit and my husband's out of town again. So I'm on my own, single mama tonight. So anyway, hopefully you guys can hear me. I have my earbuds in. So hopefully you don't hear the background music. You might see people walking around. I'm in a booth <laughs> trying to be uh, discreet. But here we are. Um, it's a little bit later. I usually do my live at seven, but we're, hi, Ann, thanks. I'm happy someone's here. And uh, I had to switch it to 7.30 because of my son um, and his uh, thing that he's at, and I need to go pick him up at eight. So, um, but tonight we're gonna do it and uh, we're gonna do another live and we're gonna talk about um, what I eat on my keto diet. And uh, if you're not keto, um, how it's different from low carb and, and what you can do. Hi, Anna from Seattle. Um, so basically, um, I am Brenda, sugar-free mom, if you're new here. I do a live every Thursday night at seven, usually. Tonight's a little later than usual. Um, sorry for the glare of my glasses and sorry if there's noise um, in the background, but I am not at home tonight, unfortunately. So I'm doing it anyway. But uh, before we get into I have four case scenarios for you, four food days for you. Hi, Sean. Hi, Chevelle from Texas. Hi, Gail from Hawaii. Wow. Hi, Aaron. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, again, apologize for people walking around. I'm trying to be discreet. There's conversations going on, and I am just trying to uh, do a live before I have to pick up my son. It's, it's life of a working mama. Um, hey, Catherine. Thank you. She loves my recipes. I appreciate that. Well, I'm grateful. Thanks for uh, saying hi, everyone. Let me know where you're from. It's always uh, it's exciting to see where everyone is um, is from. But so anyway, I have four. I was going to tell you, I have four uh, uh, meal days for you, and uh, with the macros broken down and uh, the calories, um, I have some pictures, you know. But then I'm just going to give you the four case cases so you can. Uh, uh, learn more about what to eat because we did get a question last week about what do you eat, you know, on a keto diet? How do you do 20 total carbs? And I can tell you it's not as hard as you think. Um, so we'll get into that in a minute. But first, of course, I need to share my cookbook. Um, before I share a picture, actually, I brought it with me so you could see. I actually got my advanced copy in. Here it is. Super excited. And it's fantastic. I've got four weeks of meal plans in the back with shopping lists. Uh, the first two weeks to get you started are with net carbs. And the second two weeks are going switching to total carbs for those of you who might be, you know, um, doing net carbs for a while and not seeing results. And then the last week as well on the meal plan is dairy free. Um, I've got a ton of... Uh, resources in here. Um, we've got beverages. We've got um, all the desserts, you know that. Um, but besides that, I've got chapters on um, dealing with the stall and dealing with a reluctant spouse and um, kitchen basics, you know, just getting started on keto. Um, hi, Lynn from Illinois. Hi, Rachel from San Antonio. I love San Antonio. I've been there. It's great. Can you all hear me okay? Am I speaking loud enough? I'm trying not to be too loud here at Panera. Um, oh, hi. Shh, I can't say your name. Shay from Malaysia. Excellent. So anyway, my cookbook is out. And up until uh, September 30th, um, I am giving away my one month. Here it is. My one month um, easy low carb family dinners ebook, but that is only till September 30th. So I have the link above so that you could, if you pre order, then you just send me an email to naturally keto book at Gmail and I send you that uh, one month easy family dinners. Um, great. So let's get started. Um, oh, I wanted to say one more thing about the cookbook. Let me put this down for a second. I'm all fancy, but I'm not. <laughs> um, as far as uh, pre-ordering goes, I just want you to know when it releases the book. I got the advanced copy, but the book doesn't release till October 29th. And when it does, that price is going to go up. And right now it's $31 and change. But I know that it started at $34 and change. So it definitely will go up on release day. But when you pre-order it, you get the lowest price. So just something to think about. And when you pre-order it, you actually don't pay until it releases on the 29th. So good to know. Hi, Gina. You've been eating... An easy keto plan since April. Good for you. Hopefully you're having success. 
All right, so my first case scenario, which is a total carb, total carbs of 20 and around 1500 calories. Um, I usually start my day with coffee. I always start my day with coffee. And I've really been loving lately putting in a perfect keto um, chocolate collagen. It is fantastic. I have a picture of it for you. I absolutely love it. It is so delicious. So if you are not putting collagen in your coffee, you should. Um, I find it better and more satiating than adding butter or anything else to it. That extra protein is just fantastic. So if I start my day with coffee, I'm um, doing dairy-free now. So I do ghee instead of coffee if you wanted to put that in there. But I don't find that you need it. And um, almond milk. Um, that's how I usually start my day. How many of you fast in the morning and just have a coffee? Let me know. And um, so anyway, I start the day with that. I add the chocolate collagen powder. powder. It's super good. And then I usually will have, um, I love avocados. And I have a picture of a recipe here of my uh, uh, avocado cob salad, which is fantastic. But if I were to just be at home and I didn't want to get fancy, I just have a half of an avocado with a half cup of cucumber slices um, and maybe some four ounces of smoked salmon with a tablespoon of olive oil and lemon juice and call it lunch. Now, for keto, we're trying to stick to the 20 total carbs. If um, you were doing low carb and you wanted a little bit more carbohydrates, you could add some fruit uh, like berries uh, with whipped cream, sugar-free whipped cream, of course, after um, your lunch. Um, I do enjoy iced coffee in the afternoon as well. Um, but sometimes I choose to have things like this. Uh, let me get rid of this picture. I love and loving this macadamia, salted chocolate macadamia nut butter from F Bomb. It is fantastic. The link is above. Have you guys tried it? It is so delicious when you need a little afternoon pick me up. Hey Chevelle, the pre order link is up above, right on Amazon, right in, right on top of this Facebook Live. You can uh, you can click that link. Thank you. Yeah, so this salted chocolate caramel, uh, salted chocolate macadamia nut butter is fantastic. So that would be in my day, plus an iced coffee, like I said, with the collagen and almond milk. So now we're just at dinner. And for dinner, I usually have, uh, I love ground beef, my grass-fed ground beef, beef from Butcher Box. And uh, I, I like higher protein, so I do about six ounces. And then shredded cabbage with uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. So that whole day right there is just 20 total carbs. The fiber is 12.8. The protein is 116 grams, the fat is 110, and the calories are 1,512. So it's not hard to do um, the 20 total carbs. But like I said, if you wanted to just add more carbs, if you're not keto and you're low carb, you can add some fruit to your day. You could have another snack in the evening if you wanted. But I still feel like that's a pretty good, delicious day, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, Julie, I fast too. I just... it. Fasting comes easily for some people. I've never been a big breakfast, breakfast eater. So how many carbs for the fat bomb? I can't remember off, uh, I don't think I have one on me. I can't, but the macadamia is really, really low. The nut butter is really low. Um, but all together for the two coffees, one in the morning and one in the afternoon, the avocado with smoked salmon, the macadamia nut butter fat bomb, the ground beef cabbage is still total 20 carbs for the day and 1500 calories. So I've got another, um, the way I figure these out too is I use, and I don't have the link for it, but I use the Keto Diet app on my phone. Very, very accurate for um, counting. It, it, it does, it, there's a one-time fee to pay, but it is super, super accurate. accurate. Um, now, the next day I have for you, again, would be I start my day with coffee. Um, I usually always buy a rotisserie chicken and I love, and the dark meat is, is delicious. So I'll have a chicken leg at lunch and possibly a cup of uh, cauliflower uh, with olive oil. And I have a cup of berries for lunch. And then I have some leftover ground beef, a cup of cabbage. I do have a picture of the cabbage. I have a delicious cabbage recipe that um, has bacon in it and it's in the slow cooker and it's super easy to do. And in that day, it's about 22 total carbs. Fiber seven, uh, protein 106, fat 95, and the calories around 1,400. So it's another easy case scenario. What do you do with the fat bomb nut butter? I, that's from Gina. I eat it. 
<laughs> I just simply uh, open it up and eat it. Um, if you didn't care and wanted to add in a few more, you know, carbs, you could um, put it on top of a square or two of dark chocolate and add a little bit of salt, sea salt, red mint sea salt is delicious. And that is a delicious snack. Um, all right. So my third day case scenario, same thing. I don't, I'm not a breakfast eater. Of course, you could probably add some eggs if you are a breakfast eater. But again, the coffee just works for me. Um, I have a delicious lunch that I let my kids love as well is this shrimp and broccoli. Um, so it's a cup of broccoli, four ounces of shrimp, an ounce of onion, a tablespoon of butter. So you saute the onion and the broccoli with the butter and then you uh, cook the shrimp in there and it's absolutely delicious. Um, on this day, I've also added a half a cup of blackberries with a half a cup of sugar-free whipped cream. Everybody knows how to make that, right? You just throw it in your blender or your mixer and then let it go until it's whipped. Add whatever sweetener you like. Um, I have my iced coffee in the afternoon. And then for dinner, I have a delicious, um, easy, quick, 15 minute, uh, I gotta find it, teriyaki chicken, um, which is really delicious. And with that, I usually add those uh, miracle noodles, those shirataki noodles, they're zero carbs. The sauce in the uh, teriyaki chicken is all you need. You don't really need anything else. Um, and in that day, the total carbs is 25, mostly because of the berries, the blackberries that I chose to have. Um, or you could even cut down the broccoli if you wanted it to be 20 and not 25 carbs, you could cut the broccoli in half uh, and do a half a cup instead of a cup. And um, so it was total carbs of 25, fiber of nine, 77 protein, fat 83, and the whole day calories wise, 1227. So really not even high. You could add something in there if you wanted like a, um, maybe a dessert tea or something like that in the evening. But I just feel like you don't wanna, I mean, I do make a lot of recipes that are desserts in my blog, but I don't eat those every day. And I don't think anybody should eat dessert every day. Um, save it for the weekend, save it just for Sunday, save it so it's a special occasion, right? You know, just not have it every night because you're it, it, you know, your taste buds will crave sweet things all the time. You've kind of got to say one night, you know what? I don't need dessert after dinner. And that's the way you've got to go. So I've got one more case scenario for you. Um, again, the coffee. And I've got a delicious um, brisket recipe. The meat is so, so tender and it falls off the bone. Here it is, brisket. And it's made in the slow cooker um, or the instant pot, actually. Um, and then I usually would do with that some, like a half a cup of cauliflower rice with butter. And then I have a chicken meatball recipe that is super delicious. Asian chicken meatballs. You would, I would add in about four ounces of broccoli slaw with an ounce of mayo um, for dinner. And then uh, a snack would be sunflower seed butter. You can find that at, um, you can find in my cookbook, the salted caramel sunflower seed butter recipe, and it is phenomenal. Or you could buy a packet at uh, Whole Foods. Teriyaki chicken looks delicious. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, so um, easy to do for that day with the sunflower seed butter, the mayo and the broccoli slaw, the meatballs, the brisket, the kali rice. So you're still getting in two vegetables in the day. Um, but again, I'm not eating breakfast. I'm having the breakfast, uh, the coffee with the collagen. Um, the whole day is 1,367 calories. Uh, total carbs, 19.7. Fiber, 9. Protein, 73. Fat, 108. If you wanted to add in a fruit, if you're not doing the 20 carbs and you're doing um, low carb, lower carb, uh, add in some fruit and just call it a day. Where can I buy my book? You can buy my book. It's only available right now, Nellie, on um, Amazon and Barnes and Noble to pre-order it. And it uh, releases October 29th. The link is um, up above in the Facebook area for you. So I've given you some key scenarios. Here are some other recipes. This is easy salmon, uh, crispy salmon, delicious. I would probably add some uh, fried, um, oven fried broccoli and cauliflower. That is delicious. 
for a dinner or a lunch. I love to use, I love to make big dinners and have leftovers for lunch. It's the best thing in the world, right? Um, what else didn't I show you? Oh, I think that's it. I have no more pictures. I have no more pictures. Oh, here it was, a wedge salad. So if I did a wedge salad, I'd definitely add some more protein. I'm always on the higher protein. For me, it's 25 to 30% of my, of my day. Um, definitely feel like I need it because I do work out. Um, and I just feel it keeps me more satiated than just adding fat bombs or more fat to my diet. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's the, those are the four key scenarios. Um, and it's very simple. Like it, whether you're keto or low carb, you can still enjoy all these recipes. You just adjust the carbohydrates. You know, low carb could be, I guess, anything under this, like under 100 carbs a day. I was, when I was low carb, I was between 50 and 70 carbs a day. And that was mostly because of vegetables. Um, I ate a lot of vegetables. And so really just reducing and, and go, getting to smaller size, smaller portion sizes, um, you really can, what do I put on the wedge? Jan says, uh, it's in the recipe, but there's bacon and I have a homemade blue cheese in there and uh, other things. So you just got to look up wedge salad, Google sugar free mom wedge salad and it'll pop up. Um, thank you, Jan. Going to get the book now. Thank you everyone for your support. I appreciate you um, pre-ordering because it helps me to get the book into the stores and without the pre-orders, um, then books don't think it's popular and they won't want to put it on their shelves. So all the pre-orders really, really help. Um, and like I said, you do get the cheapest price because I know on October 29th, it's totally going to go up higher. So get it now while it's cheaper. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, I mean, low carb or keto, it's still low carb, right? It's still like a low carb diet. So whether you choose to have 40 carbs a day or 20 carbs a day, you just can adjust with a few little tweaks. Um, but really, I think it's not as hard as everybody thinks. You know, I don't think. How many of you are at 20 carbs a day total? are doing net because some people doing net if you're not if you're doing that great good kudos to you i couldn't lose weight just doing net carbs i needed to to do total carbs and that might be all you need if you are um you know struggling to to lose some weight on keto or you could just be having too many snacks you know my husband stalled he lost like 30 pounds and then he stalled for a while and he was just it was he was um overeating on all the nuts even though they're you know keto that, that he just overate on them because it's really hard to eat just a small amount right um it's just like they're so dense you know calorie dense so thank you peggy she can't wait she can't wait for my new book i'm excited i'm excited for everybody to get it so anyway if you have questions please leave them um next week on um the show we're gonna do we're gonna have dr ken Berry back he is gonna come on and uh we're gonna interview him again we did that uh, at the very beginning, but this time I have the fancy slides I can do. <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about like what are the symptoms of low vitamin D, why you need salt on a keto diet, um, and just a whole bunch of other things. So next Thursday it, we will be back at seven, so you can join me back at seven, and I will have and I will not be at Panera. <laughs> so leave any questions that you have for me and I'll get back to those questions as soon as I can. And any other questions that you have for um, a solo live episode, um, I can do another time. So that's it for now. And all the links are above to the um, perfect keto collagen, chocolate collagen powder. I use my coffee that is so, so good. That's above. Um, my pre-order link for Amazon is above and the fat bombs. Um, link is above the, to the one I love, the salted, um, the salted, um, what was it? Salted something, <laughs> macadamia. There, it, I have a picture. There it is. Here it is. That salted chocolate macadamia nut butter, so good. They do have one that's uh, mixed with coconut butter, and um, I get a little heartburn from the coconut butter, so I, I don't have that one. But this one is the bomb, and it is so good. No pun intended. <laughs> Anyway, hey, hey, Ellen from Georgia. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, please leave any messages, any questions um, for the next time we talk. Thank you for whoever suggested it last week um, on, uh, you know, what I eat in a day. And I thought it was a great topic with some pictures. 
And again, thank you for pre-ordering my cookbook if you have. Um, don't forget to do it before September 30th. That's Monday because that's when the uh, the one month ebook is is gone as an offer. All right, guys, have a great have a great night, and I will see you next Thursday at seven. Ciao.